So I was planning for this upcoming decade yesterday uh, based on certain numerological themes. Uh, so those of you who um, know uh, are, are in recent consumption of the content that uh, I've started making uh, would know that September uh, I led uh, the entire month exploring a certain theme. Uh, then again, it was October, November is absolutely going on. Uh, 2023, uh, those who don't know, uh, is universal year seven, so it is all about going inward, uh, spiritual growth, uh, thinking about patterns, whether you are into any spiritual practice or not, uh, but uh, essentially trying to decode patterns, and uh, which is why I thought I would also come up with and see like what kind of themes emerge uh, from 2024 to 2034 and as I was doing that it's quite easy to uh, leap forward like in a very individualistic way uh, also idealistic way dream big which definitely you should but uh, one thing that came to me uh, is I should also be ending this month of gratitude with gratitude for the previous decade and a lot of life uh, at least in India happens in the 20s because 0 to 10 uh, you would really have some significant memories unless it's like really uh, happy moments or some really bitter moments or accidents or uh, there will be certain collective memories or memories of you as a child that your parents have uh, been narrating to you, but they are also secondary sources, right? Um, 10 to 20 is more of schooling and board exams and everything. Uh, also a bit of college life for those who enjoy, not maybe for nerds like me. But, uh, so I was doing it from 2013, a little before 2013. And now I'm wondering, uh, as I offer gratitude, now I have multiple approaches. The first approach was uh, do it in a very academic way, you know, dates, accuracy, facts, uh, achievements, targets, uh, outcomes, but I didn't want to do it because we keep on doing it all the time, right? Uh, I wanted to do and If you would like to call a log, uh, a record, I would say documentation, uh, a very informal record of those moments, uh, sensory moments, because one of the words for 2024 for me is sensorial. And my phone was of great help because um, there were a lot of pictures of food since 20. 18 October 2018 precisely when I started staying all by myself before that I was staying uh, as a paying guest and before that of course uh, I also had experience of staying in hostel um, so a lot of pictures of successful recipes favorite recipes even fave recipes a lot of pictures of pets so uh, definitely the taste and the touch senses which are kind of really created. Uh, we have a lot of visuals, but through visuals there are these uh, memory triggers. Also, of course, a lot of hearing because uh, I do see connections uh, with music, though I was not formally training. I have resumed my training, but uh, because of whatever commitments, I couldn't train much in this decade. Uh, but there are, there are uh, at least three different occasions when I have performed uh, on stage and those rooms, those people, those memories, uh, they are quite
about it vibrant so uh, I'm not very really sure whether I should go ascending or in, in descending order but I think I would uh, go from like let the jump be felt right so uh, November 2012 uh, was a major milestone it was my first uh, international trip and uh, that was to Japan uh, some sweet some bit of memories of that but that doesn't really come under the dates that I have set for me so I would try and start from birthday month of 2012 and uh, very honestly I'm not very sure if I have a very significant memory or any uh, generic one but of course my mother must have baked a cake for me and made whatever amazing uh, dishes that she usually does uh, January 13 to December 13, uh, I was very ambitious um, and I wrote uh, month-wise, but I would want to talk about it uh, in just form. So there are a lot of events, organization, uh, part of it, uh, going and going outside the purview of English department because that was supposed to be, uh, no, that was the domain because I was eventually supposed to take six units in English, but um, a lot of things that I did in the IT department, very really fond memories right there with some of my really fond mentors. I still have a draft of a book that my teacher had uh, made me write about um, Japan and which uh, eventually I had to kind of abandon in I wrote, I think, for two, three months, but I did not really uh, do a lot of, you know, follow-up. Uh, so maybe someday I'll complete it. Uh, but I was quite fascinated by this Lilith, you know, creative writing uh, in Marathi, Hindi essays and stuff like that. Uh, I remember Tichi Katha very distinctly, which, of course, I studied in 2011, but I sneaked it in. Uh, a lot of very regular semester classes. Uh, my music guru came, she was hosted in our college. Uh, so I spent some really fruitful uh, time with her uh, and some, a lot of wisdom, in-person wisdom um, beyond classes, beyond music, which still lends for me so many, um, after so many years, then a significant memory that I have is 2014, February 2014. Uh, before that, a little bit that my house is being painted. Uh, and in 2014, uh, we had a second floor added to the house and my a Japanese professor, two of my like uh, Japanese uh, contacts, uh, with whom I really have, I think, a decade long association now. They visited me and I remember the lovely lunch uh, at my place. Uh, April 14, of course, I graduated uh, TYBA. Uh, then I think uh, the second half of 2014 was all about. Uh, adjusting uh, and staying all by yourself because I chose to stay in a hostel though many people did say that you're missing the uh, you know um, experience of traveling by bus but eventually I did a lot of bus rides from Penem three hour long rides so I don't really regret staying because I think the comfort that I have with myself today the roots are here right here before my eyes in particular, I remember 22nd July 2014 because that was the first day in uh, the room that was allotted to me. I didn't have a, a roommate yet. She was to join, say, in a month's time. And um, there's power failure and I was so scared. And I had candles and I locked the room and I set it aside after the dinner. Uh, so self-reliance. Uh, and of course, um, the rush during the lunch hour, right? Walking all the way almost, not less than one kilometer from 
from the hostel block to the uh, department block and within one hour going back standing in the queue having food and coming back those are like the sensory memories that I definitely uh, remember mm. then somewhere I had this awareness of, of being a little old I don't know why so that's what I wrote in, in August and October a bit of like personal things there um, Feb uh, to April in Feb I presented a paper with my mom sorry for sneaking in academics but it was at this really lovely hotel in Vasco uh, and I remember this wonderful uh, farewell that I my friend uh, gave to two of my senior uh, you know friends like they went part two when they were graduating and we had pizza nights uh, we also had Saturday meals no Friday meals uh, uh, like we used to finish early and I remember uh, Fridays used to be I think Manchurian uh, was kind of served Thursdays I hated because the morning you had uh, puris and I had to buy bread invariably so then is July 15 and my first pet me comes into my life October 15 uh, he is officially part of my household because in spite of my father's resistance he is into the house um, then I kind of jump a lot of academics of course uh, dissertation presentations uh, 120 page long dissertation I had five cats in my garden uh, December 2015 I have some posts also I think December 2018 also I have these pictures of these cats in my garden uh, I collected shells from the beach before um, leaving the hostel uh, also we had a late night uh, movie with one of my you know younger professors we hardly had any generation gap of sorts and that was jungle book uh, then i was also paying for net set and i cleared set exam in september uh, 2016 but before that of course my mom uh, was on a year-long sabbatical and i worked in my mom's college in her absence which was I don't know, partly a good thing, less awkwardness. <laughs> and uh, I juggled three places because I used to teach in one of the Panjim colleges and I had to uh, travel, bus travel, featuring again. I kind of remember the songs uh, that created the background or the ones that I listened to. Uh, I remember some really wonderful Mandor trips in 16. Uh, then I May to July 2017, a lot of interviews for regular posts, uh, some really unconventional choices, some visions, very idealistic visions, but I think I'm grateful for that 2017 me for, for the rigor, for the courage, for the energy to, to go uh, out of the way, 70 kilometers away and to, you know, teach there when apparently everybody is there to say uh, it's a in quotes remote place right um, but of course quite restrictive the feminist in me eventually kind of suffocated in that place but uh, for now so then another significant thing is September October uh, in 17 18 and 19 were uh, all about celebrating the goddess uh, that was quite uncon unconscious but uh, I remember singing before Saraswati uh, and thanks to her blessings I have resumed uh, music uh, then I remember taking my students to Marwa all the way from then I'm in December uh, women's day oh my god uh, and so many interactions texts get-togethers discussions Again, I jump from October 17 to October 18 and I have pictures of draping uh, very interesting fabrics, interesting saris and I think that is one of the tactile sensorial experiences that I remember, uh, much less for the so-called external aesthetics but much more for, uh, you know, 
landing into the body, we made that one picture uh, of having draped those things. October 2018, emancipation. But of course, I think somewhere in July, 20, July, August 2017 or 2018, I don't remember. That was the first time I went to Arambol Beach uh, off season. It was about to rain and I saw a lot of fish at 6 or 7 pm. And I started living on my own in October 2018. Quite a long time, right? Uh, thanks to my phone. It reminded me that some of my students had brought shirwayo. I had made dumplings. I had also draped a sari again in um, March, April, whatever. I had ordered some really lovely soaps and uh, organic, uh, you know, creams and stuff like that. Uh, dumplings and sriracha, whatever the hit hit things that I tried. Uh, I also made October 2019. I made an Akash Kandil out by start of waste, and they were, these were all my school covers, all of that. So I have a picture of that. Um, October 19 again, I'm singing with the goddess. Uh, November 19, a really lovely trip to Bookworm, to Sunapranth, to Museum of Goa with my students. Uh, December 19th, intense heavy mistakes workshop, oh my god, entire of December and I'm really thankful to one of my colleagues for, after 6 he would really drop me to the, uh, to Panjim KDC bus stand and without him it wouldn't have been possible. Um, okay. February to April. Uh, March 2020 was the last conference that I attended and then you had the lockdown in, in 15, on 15th, 16th March. Uh, struggle for survival, going early in the morning uh, to get milk, waiting for my parents uh, and stuff like that. Mm. May 2020, not vaccinated, everybody is in the safety of their homes and we, incident commanders are on the road. Uh, that was when I really I cried before stepping out of my house because I wasn't sure. Uh, then of course we survived around 700 cases, but this was just uh, seven cases and and the, the the fear of course of the unknown and very acute awareness of uh, your own mortality that you might have to die at this point of time. Um, online teaching collaborative student project. Um, also sarees, also farewell, sorry, uh, farewell to my, one of my favorite batches that I had the opportunity to teach. In between, of course, we had TY projects and a lot of things that happened, um, online exams. September, FDP, uh, and, and all of 2020, really, my savior room, room 9, I, I really miss that room sometimes. Um, Then, what else? Um, July 2021, I submitted two, two chapters, two core chapters of my thesis. Mm. And December 21, so what happened was I, I changed my job. Uh, transition was happening, thesis was happening, everything was happening. Uh, but before, and it was a prolonged period of wait, I was also teaching uh, PG students online. Uh, after four, so nine to four, and then five to seven, uh, quite intensive time from September to December. But um, the last climbing of a there's a small hill uh, next to the mountain beach, which some of my colleagues really uh, coaxed me to climbing, and uh, it's like adrenaline rush and climbing that. Uh, super scared to climb down, of course. Uh, January to March transition adjustments uh, that triggered a uh, change in mindset. Uh, a lot of what happened in 2023 was really to to value my body, tap into my body wisdom, uh, to calm my nervous system, to take all these measures, wonderful journey of somatics and tarot and whatnot 
thanks to that wait a brief period and i was also asked once i remember uh, maybe you'd say i needed this the most uh, i didn't have access to it when i needed it the most then that was the period really the first half of 2022 um april may colm trip 1 right december colm trip 2 2022 was brilliant because i could stay in my dream home uh then of course navratri uh, ruzwan which i i did at end this year as well uh, christmas break and uh, winter break were combined wonderful times um december vision boarding three magic words recalibration patience and agility for the entire of 2023 and 2023 years landing so 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 beautifully like everything that i needed to close this ticket like a closure like a very deep spiritual emotional closure a comfort not just closure as in you know i wanted to end but but very experiential being nostalgic as life is happening all of that i'm absolutely blessed to have 2023 in my life Uh, though it was one of the i think second most evident years after 2022 but still i wouldn't regret saying and i remember every vivid detail uh jane feb there were i think feb i did tarot uh reading workshop april to september expansion experience oh my god every session every week uh two charts two books of notes a retreat or staycation uh, in may in, in in those six months vivid details after that uh, podcast art book of answers and today i was so grateful uh, for the convenience the comfort that i have there is work but there is there is rest and there is mindset work and there is that soft landing which is amazing so that was i'm absolutely grateful to my body to my mind to my soul uh to the almighty to my parents uh to my teachers uh to some of the colleagues and students turned into friends all of them for uh this this amazing gift that is life might sound cliche but uh i can literally feel into into this expansive uh, emotionally profound divine sublime experience thank you so much